a better me is brewing and with that comes taking care of me. In a world where we're all trying to get it together, it's not selfish to put you first. It's time to love yourself as much as you give love to others. And in all due time and patience, you'll get back to a better you. so many changes within my health and wellness journey to just feel better. I've been intentional about feeling better. I filmed a video on May 1st titled Getting My Life Together. I went into this month not feeling great. I went into this month feeling sluggish. I wasn't waking up early. I was trying to get my life together. I just did not feel great basically. Today it is May 11th. Nothing feels better than to actually like see and feel changes when you're going through your wellness journey. One huge, huge change that has changed everything has been increasing my cardio, even when I don't want to do cardio. And I don't know, maybe it's just me, but the older I get, the less I wanna run. The less I wanna go outside and go for runs, the less I want to like go on the treadmill and run. I've been going to Barry's boot camp a lot, which Barry's is so expensive, I can't go that much. I go to the classes where there's treadmill and weight room. Honestly, guys, honestly, I love it. Like I love the class, I feel like so good after every single class. You don't have to go to Barry's, obviously. You can run on the treadmill, you can do 12, 3, 30. You can walk, guys. You don't even have to run. Walking is just as effective as running, in my opinion. Obviously, you have to walk a little bit longer, but I think it's just as effective. Obviously, making better conscious decisions with my diet and just being more active in general. Michael and I, we went on a little afternoon date to Top Golf yesterday, and it was so much fun. We ate pizza, we ate wings, I had a drink. <laughs> We were active the whole time and I left feeling super energized and I loved it. I love having little active dates. I love getting coffee and going for walks. I love walking. I love it all. Being active has helped out a lot and I'm just continuing to work on my diet because I see the fastest changes when I am really, really, really good with my diet. I'm talking about just like eating at home, making my own meals, laying off the Chick-fil-A, laying off the pizza. We're gonna be talking more about all of that in this video, how to be your best self, how I'm becoming my best self. I'm gonna go for a run and I'm gonna do some abs upstairs after the run and yeah. You've been on my mind lately, I tell you all the time.
down a bit. Okay, I went for my run and like that was so hard. First of all, I went into that run way too confident. I went in so confident. Like I was like, girl, you're gonna run this whole mile without stopping. Okay, first of all, if you are starting out running and you're going on your running journey, it is okay to stop, okay? Don't feel bad about stopping. Don't let stopping in the middle of running stop you from running, if that makes sense. It's okay to like have to stop and catch your breath every once in a while. I feel like that's the reason why I don't like running as much is because I feel like I can't run as long like without stopping, but over time you'll get better. But it's okay to stop multiple times and over time you're gonna just start to feel better. You're gonna be able to run longer distances without stopping over time. You're not gonna be out of breath as much over time. So yeah, don't let fear of like stopping so many times stop you from getting onto a running journey. Why is running so embarrassing? <laughs> like, all I could think is like me popping up on people's ring systems, on my neighbor's ring systems, and all I could see is them like looking at their phone like, here go that girl trying to lose weight again. <laughs> And that was just making me laugh because I was just like, every time I saw a house with a ring system, all I could think is just like, oh man, I'm popping up on, <laughs> um, <laughs> my little slow self is popping up on the ring system. But it was fun. It was a good run. Nonetheless, it felt good. It was hot outside, not gonna lie. It was a little stifling hot. Getting just so hot here in Texas already in May, but it was a good run. I'm glad I did it. And I hope this motivates you to run. A few notes, I definitely need to hydrate a little bit more. It's hotter than I'm expecting. I don't know why I'm thinking it's not gonna be as hot, but it's definitely hot. So I need to hydrate a lot more before I go running. Number two, I need to make sure that I order some hokas, I think it's called. I've been wanting to order those hokas that everyone's talking about. I did eat a little like pre-workout snack, those little rice cakes that I've been making. Side note, those are so good. I got the idea from Sydney Adams. She's been talking about them so much and I was like, you know what? Let me just get these rice cakes. And they're a great snack. I really like them. They're great like if you're gonna work out in the morning and you need a little fuel before your workout. The thin rice cakes, peanut butter, blueberries, and honey. And I know she adds like flax seeds and coconut shavings on top, but I don't like coconut shavings. So, and I was thinking about getting chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> white chocolate shavings, but I was like, uh, you probably shouldn't do sugar on top. <laughs> See, there I go, that's my problem. That's my issue right there. <laughs> I did an, a mile and a half and it took me 18 minutes and 41 seconds. Not bad, but could have been better. But I stopped several times. I don't know if I'm hungry right now, I might just go to the store. Let's get into it, let's go shower. because I'm I've been using Proven's three-step skincare system for the last six weeks, almost two months now. I've been loving the way my skin has been looking since using these products. Proven is the world's most personalized skincare brand, and all you have to do is take a three-minute skin genome quiz on their website. They use 47 factors, which include water hardness, UV index, and humidity to create a unique three-step skincare system for you. I mentioned them in a video recently and some of the ingredients that are in my personalized skincare are grapefruit extract, turmeric extract, and my daily moisturizer includes SPF to protect my skin from the sun. Their products are gentle and clean and they're very transparent with all the ingredients in their products. My skin has been so moisturized since I've started using their skincare. If you're interested in trying the three-step system by Proven, you can click the link in my description box and use code Janet99 to get all three of these items for $99, which I think is an amazing deal. Um, check them out if you're interested, and thank you so much, Proven, for sponsoring this portion of the video.
in the Target parking lot right now and I'm about to go in. I just want to sit and just talk some things out because to be completely honest, this week I've been having like a 2 out of 10 mental health week. Mental health is 2 out of 10 right now and sometimes when I talk these things out on camera, it makes me just not feel as crazy. So <laughs> I'm just going to talk about everything that's going on in my mind and just leave it here leave it in the car leave it here and just be done with it basically just be done with it so number one this week <laughs> and i'm sorry if this is like super annoying to you please skip forward first of all the other day i woke up okay at the beginning of this week i woke up just thinking about things that like i probably should have been thinking about like past memories and like old stuff and it just like I don't know it just made me start the day off just like not good and it just kind of lingered throughout the week which is so annoying that kind of like set a weird lingering mood throughout the week number two I've just been struggling creatively this week and I don't know if it's because I started the week off like that please refer to number one I don't know if starting off the week with the rehashing what I've been rehashing is causing me to not be great creatively but that is just also like putting a damper on my mood because it's like I love being creative and I feel like I'm such a creative person and I just have been struggling with that and then like communicating with like brands and stuff and like working on like admin stuff for YouTube can be really really stressful it's also like stressful communicating with these brands like these brands can be aggy and ruin the flow sometimes not all I work with some amazing brands but some there are a few bad eggs so that's another thing that I've been dealing with this week and I broke my favorite candle which isn't a big deal but it was also my last straw <laughs> It was also my last straw. So this week has just been aggy. I've been trying to just do things that make me feel good. I messaged my friend and we're gonna go work out together on Saturday, which is gonna be great. And we have dinner with my sister this week and I've been talking to friends and things like that. But I realized earlier that I haven't done my devotional this week too which is not like me. I did it all last week, but I haven't touched it this week. So I need to make sure I do that tonight. And I think that some days I wake up and I'm like, oh, I don't have time to write in it. But like, I need to at least read it, like read out the passages and write in it later. Like I need to stop just like pushing it to the side because I don't have time to write. Like wake up, read your devotional because it does make me feel so good. It just makes me feel so confident going throughout my day. So I need to get back onto that tonight, like not playing any games with that because I love my devotional and like reading my 365 days of prayer too. And I need to stop being on TikTok so late at night. Okay. Like I feel like I'm a floating head right now. Like is that better? That's a little better. Okay. I need to be... <laughs> I need to stop being on TikTok so late at night. TikTok is literally so overstimulating and it's rotting my brain and being on it late at night keeps me up and it makes my sleep just like a two out of 10 as well. So I need to stay off of my phone. I need to like shut off phone at like 6 p.m. Like no social media. I like YouTube, but it has to be like calm YouTubers. Like uh, there's just certain YouTubers that I can watch super late at night because they're just so calming. Their voices are just so tranquil. Like, I can't watch YouTubers that talk a lot at night, if that makes sense. So if it's like a really chatty, chatty vlog, like I can't do that. It just is overstimulating to me. I need to refresh our space. I work from home now and I have not been inspired to be home lately. Like the house is just so uninspiring and I think it's just because like our flowers are dying and obviously they're dying because they've been there for two weeks. I need to throw out the flowers. They're so ugly to me now and I need fresh flowers. I think I want some like white flowers, just like white fresh flowers. And next week I want to start revamping my home office. I've been saying I want to do this for so long. I am editing in that office so much. Like... I spend so much time in there and it's just uninspiring to me. So I need to revamp it. I need to take the time to revamp it next week. I don't have time this weekend because we have family things again this weekend. It's been like family thing after family thing after family thing every single weekend. And I'm not like, I'm not complaining about it because I like being around family, but we also just haven't had a weekend to ourselves. So yeah. <laughs> Whew. That definitely felt so good to just get off of my chest and just to talk about because whew, I'm about to go into Target, do a little retail therapy. I don't recommend this because 
that's not productive at all but I just need to refresh the space a little bit maybe see if there's anything that I want to get that's just gonna inspire me a little bit more moving into next week because I want next week to just be a different vibe okay a better me a different vibe and I want to just start the week off just great okay and I have some video plans for next week that are gonna be really great so yeah we're leaving these vibes here okay I'm leaving it here in this parking lot okay we're not taking this back we're not taking this energy back with us to the house at all and yeah I should coffee lids so I'm having to drink my coffee with a straw which I like to sip on my coffee nice and slow I don't like to drink it with a straw because it makes me drink it fast but anyway this is why I'm on my local coffee shop kick okay because Starbucks has been acting crazy did you hear about the whole like a dollar extra for light ice or no ice anyway anyway I went to Target and by the way I apologize for the lighting in this video if it's up and down and up and down. I'm still trying to figure out the settings on my new camera. I love this thing, but I am still trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to figure out how to use it and it's been a struggle for sure. Anyway, I went OD on shoes at Target. I was gonna buy home decor. They had a lot of cute home decor items, but I was looking on the Target app and a lot of the items are cheaper online than they are in store like the plant that i was looking at the olive tree that i was looking at um is like 150 dollars in store and it's 112 dollars online so i was like okay i'm just gonna buy this stuff online because that is such a huge difference it's like a 40 dollar difference right yeah that's crazy but one thing that i have an issue with is shoes every time i'm trying to get dressed like I have a lot of really cute clothes, but I have no shoes to match. And one of the biggest L's that you could ever have in life is just having a cute outfit and then your shoes just throw it all the way off, okay? And I just hate having that feeling. Like you can ask Michael, that's the one thing I stress out about the most when we're going out is just like not having the right shoes for my outfit. So I got some cute shoes and I'm so excited to start the summer off with these three pairs of shoes which I don't know, honestly, I'm so excited. So I just got a regular pair of sandals and these aren't the most comfy. Let me just say that they're not the most comfy, but these are so cute on, they are so cute on. And I got everything in a seven and a half because that's just my shoe size. Uh, yeah, these are so cute on and they never have seven and a half in store, but they definitely had them today. So that's why I was like, this is fake. Like all of these shoes, I got them in a seven and a half. I'm a lucky girl. Okay. But yeah, I got these right here. I'll link all of these down below for y'all as well. I got this cute strappy sandal, which I'm so excited about these because I think these are just so cute. I love the color. I love the height and they're just, honestly, they're so pretty on my feet. I'm like, ah, they're just so cute. And I have another pair like this that I wore actually yesterday. But the pair that I wore yesterday when we went to Top Golf are so old. And those shoes are just like not it to me. Like I want it to have a little wedge. And this has a little wedge as you can see. It's like it goes up just a little bit, but it goes up. And it looks a little bit more feminine to me compared to the ones I wore yesterday. And then this color is just cuter than the ones I wore yesterday. So these are my favorite, honestly. I love these. I'm gonna be wearing the heck, the heck out of these. I can already tell. And they're so comfortable. These are comfortable, those aren't. But they're comfortable initially. I haven't worn them long term, obviously. I know these are gonna hurt after a while, so that sucks. And then I got a nice little strappy sandal. I love these too. They're so cute. I love the color. 
okay i think these are all of these are going to match so many different things and uh, these are just so cute quick height for me like i just don't like super high things like i definitely grew up in the millennial era where we used to wear heels that were just way too high <laughs> that we could barely walk in like i used to wear heels in high school with my friends like we used to all get dressed up like we would have heels day like this is crazy let me talk about this real quick in high school i was a cheerleader and like all the cheerleaders we would all plan to wear heels on the same day guys get this we would wear heels skinny jeans and a graphic t-shirt like a tight graphic t-shirt like tight from head to <laughs> from head to <laughs> from head to toe we were so ugly for that let me just say that but <laughs> gone are the days where we're wearing heels that we can't walk in because i used to wear heels that i could not walk in back in high school so tragic so hilarious but yeah I'm all about comfy and cute heels. These aren't heels, they're wedges. But I have some cute summer heels that I bought recently, last summer that I didn't even get to wear that um, I'm ready to wear this summer. So these aren't a heel, these are a wedge, but I'm all about comfort, girl. That's all I'm trying to say. So I think this was a successful shoe run. Like I am so excited to wear these shoes. I am so, so, so excited. Now I'm excited to like buy clothes to like wear these with too. What I have planned for the rest of this day is honestly I'm hungry. So I think I'm gonna make myself some yogurt. I bought some milk yogurt or is it almond milk yogurt? It's my silk. So I think I'm gonna make myself a little yogurt bowl because we are eating out tonight and I've been doing a better job. Like when I know we're about to eat out or something, like go out to eat. If I know we're about to go out to eat or we have dinner plans, I make sure to just eat super light throughout the day so I'm not just like overindulging throughout the day. So for breakfast, I had, what did I eat earlier? What did I eat earlier? Oh, I had my egg sandwich, which that was so good. I'm gonna be making that all the time. I love myself a good egg sandwich. I know, I know it's not for everyone, but I definitely could have only done two eggs because I only ate about two eggs worth. And then I'm gonna eat yogurt for lunch and then for dinner, we're going out to eat might take this one on a W-A-L-K, okay? And yeah. from Still Trippin' by Mike Jones. Mike Jones! Wait, what did he sing? He sung, back then they didn't want me, now I'm hot. He sang that. He sung that song that was like, uh, the, the telephone song. 512-240-8004. I don't even think those are the right lyrics. <laughs> I don't think those are the right lyrics. Wait, y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, if you know Mike Jones, this might be before a lot of the youngins' time, let me just say that. But yeah, sipping on fofos. I'm, I'm sipping on, I'm tipping on fofos. It's not sipping, it's tipping. What does that mean? <laughs> anyway, we're done, we're done. Okay, so I'm gonna be spending the rest of the afternoon reading this book. This is The Wedding Night. Okay, I got this book weeks ago. Well, not that long ago probably last month. It's been so long since I've read it and it's a good book. I didn't stop reading it because it's not good. I just stopped reading it because I had so much going on this past month with like all the transitions I've had. So getting back into it, I'm gonna read this until our dinner plans tonight, which is gonna be nice. Uh, it's a good book. It's a good book. It's a good read. It's not an easy read, I will say, but it's still a good book and I'm really excited about getting into it. So I'm gonna be reading this. Just going to like shut my mind off. I just need a mind shut off 
for a couple of hours to escape into another world that's not self-help, that's not a podcast, that's not any of it. I just want to uh, just focus in on something different for a little while up until we get dinner. So that's my plan for the rest of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. I know this vlog was a little bit different. Every once in a while, your girl is just trying to get it together and I know you guys understand and I know you guys can relate because it's not peaches and roses and cherries all the time. I really do try to be as uplifting as possible on my channel because like I want to spread positivity here. Like if I'm posting twice a week, you're going to get days where I'm struggling, where I'm crying, where I'm like, uh, and it's just life. I love doing life with you guys. I truly do. I really do love doing life with y'all. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm just gonna remain cozy. I changed into like my cozy Target loungewear piece, which I'll leave this down below and everything that I got down below. Just don't forget to check out Proven. You can get your first three-step system for $99 using the code Janet99. I hope this video did inspire you guys to put yourself first, whatever that looks like for you. I hope this inspired you to put you first and to check in on yourself mentally. I find that I've been so focused on like my physical health lately that I've been letting my mental health just fall to the back burner, which isn't good. And I need to make sure that I'm pouring into that just as much as I pour into my physical health. So I hope this is a reminder for you to do the same. And yeah, guys, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys in the next video. Mahalo.